So I'm kind of standing by this new event called the Memorial of Gothics and the reward you get from it is you get more experience from divine locations, you can remove the cap on chronicles from divination and also chronicle fragments can be replaced by Gothixi and butterflies which is pretty much just like you click them and you get experience in the lower scale that you currently have. So it's pretty good I guess but that's pretty much it it looks like and then if you uh, collect all the engrams which is one of the things I have in my inventory right here. Uh, if you like prestige them which is like if you click on one of these you can see it requires a memorial strand which you seem to be getting from just doing divination normally and then pale energies and I suppose there's these 12 of these and then you need the different energies for all of them and then you do that on all of them and you prestige and you get a bunch of divination experience now I have no idea how much that is but the only way I really think about how I'm going to be getting 99 divination is doing caches so really this event doesn't seem that attractive to me me. Now if I do divination during this event just to get like invention charge then yes I'm going to be able to make use of this but that's pretty much the extent to it I think. So I want to complete the Light Within quest and for that I do need 80 Agility so I'm going to be doing that in just a second here on the Prifthana's course and then after that I need to do Meeting History which is a really simple quest. Now the main reason why I want to complete this quest is two reasons. The first one is the extra curses that I get which are amazing for skilling mostly for the, for example the Superheat form is great and then after that it's also a requirement to do the quest Children of Ma which is the new quest which is really cool and also it does benefit me the ability to get the Night Nightmare Gloves, which is one of the things I really am looking forward to getting because they seem really good for ranged and I don't really have any ranged gloves at all. So I actually ended up doing 80 agility in the wilderness with the demonic skulls. Some people from my French had informed me that you can do this and I'm not very familiar with the wilderness stuff. So it was pretty cool to know that and I'm now 80 agility. And also I did get PK'd once. Actually three times I got PK'd but I only died once. The other times if you're doing like agility here I advise you to run all the way back here. Just click on the gate here and I don't think they can attack you actually when you're like going down. Because they're going to be here and they also have to go all the way down if they want to do it. And then here you can do like up oh, lobby and you should be fine so you shouldn't really die here unless you get caught in the middle and you get like stunned or something but if you bring food you should be fine so besides the light within I need to complete meeting history and I've just done that so all I need to do is talk to Joral and we should be done with the quest so let's see what we get. I think the rewards are pretty mundane. Yeah one quest point, a tome containing, experiencing three skills which are extremely extremely low experience if I can remember it correctly. Let's see if I can even use this. Oh yeah I have to do this like five times so yeah uh, well three times. 1000 experience each so 3000 experience I'm just going to put it in runecrafting because it's such a slow skill but yeah that's all the requirements done for the light within so we can now do that that's a pretty long quest to be honest I think since um, I did it on my main it took quite some time but it should not be too bad and this is the end of the light within quest so let's see what the rewards are holy shit that's a lot of experience lamps I didn't even remember that so I have 289 quest points and I can now use the seren prayers let's just click continue and use it real quick and see that it works yes it does I'm not sure if all the uh, lamps like fit in my inventory or if I can like talk to her again and get the rest of them I don't know uh, anyways that's a shit ton of experience I'm just going to use the ones that I did get and see if I get any levels before I end the clip and do something else but yeah by the way this superheat uh, form is the massive thing from the Seren prayers it's absolutely ridiculously overpowered this thing right here uh, like when you're wood cutting you get fire making experience when you do mining for example gold de gold deposits the concentrated gold deposits it actually superheats it into bars so that is really cool and it gives some smithing experience when you do mine. It also works on like seren stones when you do that in Priftanas when you get the corrupted ore from them and you actually do get some smithing experience like right off the bat so you don't actually have to uh, like uh, smith the corrupted ore it just does it automatically so that's really sweet as well. I really don't know why but I tend to get every single loot when I do bossing. Sometimes I don't but like most of the time I get so many items and look at this. I've done 7 kills so far and I've got every single loot except the first one before loot chair was even put on. So yes either I'm very lucky or just Jagex loves me or the loot chair system just overall loves me. But anyways thanks to uh, Lil Smurg. Fisher and uh, Le Iron Blue for helping me out with my reaper assignment and also kind of want to quickly talk about that. I haven't been
been doing my Reaper assignment for a long time, actually, like a couple of weeks, because I didn't really want the Ring of Death, it's the last thing that I need, and um, it's not very useful. I mean, the Asylum Surgeon Ring is really good on itself, the effect of it. The Ring of Death effect is kind of shit, but at the same time, the stats on it is pretty good. So, uh, I just want to get it, though, so I'm just going to start doing Reaper assignments from now on, and for sure, I'm going to be doing every single day the Reaper assignment, and I'm going to put that in the video. So, first one, it's Corporal Beast, and I only have one kill left to do, and this is the loot so far, I'm assuming I'm not gonna get anything special. So I actually got a perfect Reaper assignment, I got Twin Furies, I only got 9 of them, but I'm going to be staying here for as long as I possibly can, and it's finally a good chance to try out my tier 90, I have tried it out on Araxor, it is decent, it is faster kills than doing it with ranged, but I spend way more supplies because I take way more damage, so it is kind of a okay situation to use it, but it's not as good as playing ranged in my opinion, so I'm probably still going to range it because I just save more supplies, and that's a very good thing on an Iron Man, but anyways, I'm going to be staying at Twin Fury so as long as I possibly can, soloing it. I have no idea how long it's going to be. On my main account I could stay for a very long time, but then I had way better gear than Subjugation. So let's see how this goes, hopefully I get something decent and uh, it's going to be fun. So I'm just doing a 10th kill here, I have finished the Reaper assignment though, I got 15 Reaper points for it and 17,000 Slayer experience, but if you look at my food it's very scarce, I don't have much food left at all and if I get hit by this I'm going to die! There you go, you guys ask for more deaths in my videos all the time in my friend chat, and there you go, I just died. But anyways, uh, that's about the kills I can do, I guess, 10 or 9, so it's actually a very good amount of kills for a Reaper assignment. And at least I got the Reaper points before I die, and I'm just going to have to pay for the gear back. Actually, all money that I currently have is 176,000, the ones I have in my pouch, and I have one GP in my bank just for placeholder, and so I'm going to be doing some Slayer just for some money, and I'm going to be doing the hard clues meanwhile as well, and this is the first reward, it's pretty awful, but it is reward at least. Oh yeah, and it's actually the Hati event thing where you can kill the wolf and all that and get bonus experience or just flat out experience. I don't remember actually, last time I did it was a very long time ago, but I just killed Hati, very easy to solo and all that. Just takes some time and I don't know what I'm going to put this in, probably attack or something, I don't know how much experience it is. And it's 57,000, that's actually not too bad and yeah, I guess that's some cool extra experience for like 2 minutes of work. Sorry for the legacy interface, but this is a duplicate. I'm pretty sure of it because I faintly remember having like a full green dragon overrides and then also a red dragon override. So I'm pretty sure I already have that, but still the hard clear reward is really good for the alkyballs and that's kind of what I need right now. I need money. Also, I did just get 128 crystal shapeshifters. Now, I don't really do them on my main because I feel like they're not really worth it, but I think on an Iron Man it's really good because I, you seem to be getting a lot of alkyballs and a lot of like herbs and all that so it seems like very good for me at the moment so let's do that and see what we can get I'm actually going to show you guys the like I'm going to review the assignment let's let's just put it at that I think this is a bit of a milestone, I just hit 20 million Slayer experience, which is 103. It's actually very good that I'm still getting Slayer experience, like training Slayer now is not useless at all. Because 120 Slayer is going to come sometime this year, I'm very sure of that. I'm not exactly sure on what date at all, like I haven't read into it, but there's going to be creatures from like 99 all the way, oh I guess level 100 all the way to 120. So I'm really hyped about that and getting a head start on that is obviously very good. Alright, so I did die once and I had to pay 200k to get my stuff back, but otherwise I haven't changed anything in my inventory since I started, I've just kept all the items all the time to keep track, and so this is all the loot that I got. Overall in cash I got like 1 million-ish, so the money is actually pretty good, I like this task due to the fact that I get so many rune items to alk and all that, so I'm definitely going to be doing it only if for that purpose. Also the herbs are really good, like look at this, I get 16 lantadimes, 40 irids, that's really good, and then like 30 toad flags and just overall it's pretty good at supplies and so I think this assignment is something I'm for sure going to keep doing in the future and if you are an Iron Man I do suggest you do this but if you do not have a tier 90 I guess a tier 80 would work but anything below that really is hard because they start off being like weak to fire or weak to anything else and then after that as soon as you start hitting them I can actually show you they will change over to something else in just a second like look at this it now is melee because because you are using magic so they kind of defend themselves versus you and having a tier 90 helps out a lot because you have so much accuracy but yeah for sure the assignment is very good now this clue scroll we can reroll but first let's see what we do get and we get oh, I guess that's actually not that bad that's a lot of nature runes I kind of need that I only have 200 but 
Uh, yeah, for sure I'm going to re-roll this because otherwise the, sh the reward is pretty shit. So let's just do that real quick. 250k to 149k. But that's actually a cosmetic. Bandle's cloak? Do I have that? Let me just quickly check. I don't think I do actually. I might. But I'm not sure. Let's see. And I didn't have it. And by the way, if you wonder why uh, only it looks like I have one of these. I have one in the keepsake, th keepsake things. I do have this already, but I guess I'll put this up here. Uh, but yeah, that's actually a new unique. Bandle's Cloak, I did not have that. I did have three of the Armadil one, I think. Yeah, so I might have all of them now. Ancient, Saradomin, Bandos, and Armadil. I guess I missed the Samurai one. So that's the one I want to look for now, I guess. So I'm currently doing an assignment of Greater Demons and I've done half of it so far and I got a hard clue scroll and elite clue scroll and I just finished them and I have the caskets here so let's start off with the hard one and see what we get. And we get two ancient pages, why two? I know I have three of them and I actually think I already have this one, let's just quickly check if I do. I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have that one. Let's just go see. And I do have three at least. So I have the number one. I have the number two. All right. And I have the number three. So number four was the one I needed. Now I have four of those. Three of the one. And then one of the third. All right. So let's see what the elite is going to give us. I do have to just move this one slide. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can reroll this. I have no idea actually. Let's unlock that. And we cannot reroll. But that's an ornament kit. I do have a couple of ornament kits. I'm not sure if I have this one. Dragon Fall Helm ornament kit. I have no idea actually. Let's see if I do have it. I don't have a Dragon Fall Helm though, so I might farm that like sometime in the future for fun. Uh, but I don't have it to put it on right now. But I did not have it, so it's not a duplicate. Awesome. I have a lot of these ornament kits actually. I do have the plate legs, um, the square shield, two of the plate body, and then two of the other plate body kits. So. Alright, I did not have any of the full hem kits, so that's pretty sweet to get a first one. Uh, it's kind of rare to get uniques at this point, so I'm really happy with that. But that's actually going to be the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to probably in the start of the next video do some Slayer again. I am trying to get the charms to be able to get 96 summoning, as well as get the money for it, because I'm currently super broke. Like, um, I might just alk a lot of these, like, Hydrix ball tips, but they're like 6k a piece, and like, Nature rune for 6k, sure it's fine I can do that, but also it's going to take a long time to do that. And it's like kind of iffy, I want to get some uh, combat experience as well meanwhile doing it. And like getting the charms, I need to do that anyways, and my current charm count is 119 blue and 320 crimson. So we're getting a bit closer to 96 summoning, which is where I want to get to. It's going to make Araxor easier, it's going to make everything easier to have a pack yak. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Please take care.